couldn't even introduce myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miss Nye. Nice to meet you all. Hi, Daddy. This is Addie. And hey, Ellie, can you pop in here so everybody can see your beautiful face? Okay, let's just hear. Yeah, here we go. There we go. All right, and we've got Eliana here too. And so we're just going to jump right in. We're not even going to start with that. Here we go. <gasps> today. Hey, Eliana, can you bring me our basket off of the, the shelf right there? Yeah. We went outside today, and I just want to show you some of the things that we found. We brought these along with us. Do you know what this is? Do you have one of these at home? Look how big my eye gets. Whoa. What is this? I want to see. You want to see? What is this? A magnifying glass. A magnifying glass. We had two of them because we have two people with us. And we also found some sticks. We found some leaves that I think got taken out of here. We also made these. Can you They're see this? They're bird seed feeders. They're bird seed feeders. Can you stand up here and tell them how you made us? How you yes. made us? Can you stand up here? Yeah. Come on up. All right. There we go. Now we can see her. How did you make these? Uh, yeah. How did you make this? Bird seed and um, we used gelatin, unflavored gelatin at the store. I think it's like 60 cents a box. And we just mixed those together with hot water and we stirred it and we put these into cookie cutters and just let them dry. That's it. And so now we have something to hang outside to feed the birds. I think and this would be great. And then we can watch the birds. And then we can watch the birds probably be better in the winter because the birds don't have any food in the winter, do they? No. No, they don't. All right. So those are all the things that we found today while we were exploring outside. So I thought I would read some nature themed books. All right. Let's see what we've got today. 
Let's see what we've got today and what we're going to start with. Um, let's see. I've got Hank's Big Day, the story of a bug. I've got One Day in the Eucalyptus. Oh, we don't need that. I read that. The Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus tree. I read that. We've got the, the Camping Trip. We've got Daddy, some cool books. The red one what do you think mine. we should start with? The what red one with yours? Okay. Yeah. We're going to start with One Day in the Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus tree. Here we go. It like is by yellow. Daniel Bernstrom, and the pictures are by oh, Brendan hey, Wenzel. Hey, Miss Ma'am, can you come up here and let's listen to the story, or you can sit and let's listen to the story. Ooh, my eyes gonna get dirty. Oh boy! All right, here we go. I can't see things. It's really like we're crowded close. in an elevator or something. All right. Hey, can you move over just a little bit? so everybody can see. There we go. Woo. All right. One day in the leaves of the eucalyptus tree hung a scare in the air where no How eye. Scare in the air. Let me see. No eye could see. Ooh, that's a big eye. When along skipped a boy oh. with a whirly twirly toy to the shade of the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. And there he goes. What do you think is going to happen? The snake is going to eat him because I read. Down, down slid the snake from the leaves of the tree and gobbled up the boy with his whirly twirly toy one day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. Patty, I think I'm going to have to have you move so that everybody can see the story. Could you maybe come on the other side? Oh. Oh, boy. I'll, I'll bet fall. you're not going to fall. All right, we'll just keep going. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep, that you're still yeah, very yeah. hungry and there's more you can eat. There he is, hey. down in the belly of the snake. Down oh, in the belly of the snake. Know. Okay. Yes, they don't know what's going to happen. All right, so let's not tell them. Do you think, said the snake to the boy with the toy, that there's room for something yummy with you inside my tummy? Cheep, cheep came a chirp from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a bird with a worm and a game of hide and seek. Sneaky slidey zipped the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the bird and her ooey gooey worm one day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. Like how about you brush her hair every day? Yeah. I'll bet, said the boy in the belly dark and deep that you're still very hungry, that there's more you can eat. Purr, purr, came a stir from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a cat in a nap on his furry, furry back. Cat in a nap. Cat in a nap. The cat in really a cat in a nap. Under over slid the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the cat in his dozy, cozy nap. One day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. There is the snake gobbling up the cat. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, still more room, so much more to enjoy. That's a Wrinkle, wrinkle, came a rustle from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a sloth cloaked in moss, sipping leafy, leafy tea. Wiggle, waggle, stretched the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the sloth. Clothed in fuzzy wuzzy moss, one day in the eucalyptus eucalyptus tree. I'll bet, said the boy, in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry, that there's more you can eat. Slurp, burr, came a belch from the leaves of the tree. Oh, an ape eating grapes, lounging like a queen. Twist, twist, bent the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the ape and her munchy bunch of grapes one day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. Okay, everyone, now you can brush your teeth like this. No, we're not brushing our teeth, silly goose. Yeah, okay, we're not we're brushing brush. our teeth. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy, there is room, still more room, so much more to enjoy. Munch, munch, came a crunch from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a rare kind of bear munching tasty, tasty greens. Up, up, snake the snake, 
from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the bear with a wally wally hair. Okay, three, one day four. in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus like tree. Chanta. Look at that. I'm going to move you just a little bit so that we can all see. There we go. Stand right here. What? Yes. Now they can't see me. So they can see the book. Do you think, asked the snake to the boy with the toy, I should take one more bite while my tummy feels so tight? Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, so much room. Go ahead, please enjoy. Buzz, buzz, hummed a noise from the leaves of the tree. Oh, a hive full of bees dancing happily. Creaky, eeky, inch the snake from his place in the leaves and gobbled up the hive and the bumbling bees inside. One day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus you tree. The bees have no Whoa, idea. look at the size of that snake. I'll bet, said the boy, in the belly dark and deep, that you're still very hungry, that there's more you can eat. No, said the snake. Oh, surely, very surely, Mr. Snake, said the boy. There is room, still more room. No, said the snake. Something small, asked the boy. Sniff, sniff, hissed the snake from his place in the leaves. Oh, a fruit, a small fruit, swaying in the breeze. And on that piece of fruit, that plummy, chummy fruit, was a teeny, tiny fly. Can you see the teeny, tiny fly? <sighs> Gulp! Gurgle, gurgle, came a blurble from that belly, deep and full, stretch, stretch, burp, belch, bleh. That's attractive. Out whizzed the fly, out rolled the fruit, out buzzed the hive, out ran the bear, out swung the ape, out slunk the slop, out dashed the cat, out flew the bird, out slimed the worm, and out skipped the boy with his whirly twirly toy. And, oh, moaned the snake, I've got a crummy tummy ache. One day in the eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's going to happen again. There's a crocodile. There's a crocodile. He better watch out. You know what we say to that? We say five little monkeys swing in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. How many more are left? There was five monkeys? Mm -hmm. Oh, four. Four. Four little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. How many more are left? Three little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. Two. Two. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. How many do we have left? One. One little monkey swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me, no, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snapped that monkey right out of the tree. No little monkey swinging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. When along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. But there were no monkeys left. So away swam he. <laughs> That's a silly one. Why didn't he burp them out? I don't know why he didn't burp them out.
All right, here we go. What are we going to do next? Um, read another book. Read another book. I love reading books. Yes, we love reading books. All and right. I, re I was reading a book about an alien that, yes, we were that was on a mission to get pizza. Yes. Because, that he uh, met because a that, boy. that is a very good reason to leave your planet, is to go find pizza. That's the only reason I'm leaving my planet, is to go get pizza. The Camping Trip by Jennifer K. Mann. Y'all, this book is wonderful. We love it so much. Um, so, uh, it just came out this year, and it is spreading like wildfire. It is so cute. So, ready? Let's jump in. And here's, there's just something else I do. I mean, I want you guys to see the cover, but I take... The covers off I take the sleeves off the dust jackets and I store them somewhere so if we ever give the books away which is not gonna be likely but if we ever give the books away then I'll have you know a fresh cover because they are they can be rough on books so that's just a little tip all right my aunt Jackie invited me to go camping with her and my cousin Samantha this weekend and my dad said yes I've never been camping before, but I know I will I, love it. I wish I could camp. I know, that would be so much fun. I got a sleeping bag. Actually, you did go camping. You went camping when you were about two years old. Yeah. I got a sleeping bag and a new flashlight, and Dad and I made some trail mix just for camping. Aunt Jackie sent a list of things to pack. Look at all those things to pack. Say all the things. Oh, say all the things. That's a lot of things. Hat, sneakers, flashlight, water bottle, backpack, pajamas, towel, camera, sleeping bag, swimsuit, undies, shorts, bandages, t-shirts, swim mask, comic book, socks, whistle, trail mix, sweatshirt, sunglasses, foxy, pillow, and sunblock. Because you would never go on a camping trip without your stuffy. Me neither. I'm not sure it's all going to fit. I'm ready. Then I wait. Finally, they're here. Hi, Aunt Jackie. Hi, Aunt. Hi, Samantha. Hello, Ernestine. Bye, Dad. Love you, E. I hope Dad doesn't miss me too much. And off they go. It's a long drive to Cedar Tree Campground. We look at comic books. We play cat's cradle. We stare out the window. We sing along with the radio. Looks like they had to go a long, long way. Finally, we're here. It's so quiet and big. It smells like trees and fire and dirt. You need a lot of stuff to go camping, so it takes a long time to unpack. Samantha and I decided to set up the tent. I build forts all the time at home, so this should be easy. It's not e one bit easy. I'm sweating. Me too. Let's go for a swim. Okay. I love swimming at the Y. I can touch the bottom of the pool. Look at that. Is swimming at the pool the same thing as swimming in a lake? Yeah. Uh, no. Why not? There are fish in here. Don't worry, Ernestine. The fish won't bite. You promise? That's okay. I'll just watch you swim. There they are. When Samantha is finally done swimming, we eat lunch. Let's go on a hike. I love to hike. My dad says hiking is just walking, but in nature, instead of in the city, and I walk to school every day. Here's what I need to go hiking. Backpack, hat, sunglasses, whistle, camera, water bottle, sunblock, granola bar, trail mix, apple, raisins, leftover chips, cheese sticks, peanut butter crackers, cookies, bandages, and foxy. There are a lot more hills here than on my way to school. She was tired just like I was. She was tired. My feet are tired. Maybe I brought too much stuff. I think I need a water break. When we finally stop, I eat a lot so my backpack will be lighter on the way back. There she is, getting tired. 
This is the biggest tree ever. It's huge. Don't slip. I won't. It's a banana slug. There is so much to explore. <laughs> it's a banana slug. A banana slug. It's way easier to hike downhill. When we get back to the campsite, Samantha and I set up the campfire. What's for dinner? Tofu, hot dogs, and broccoli salad. My favorites. She goes, huh? Tofu hot dogs are not my favorite, but I'm really hungry. Hmm, this broccoli salad is good. Wait till you try s'mores. They're scrumptious. This is what you need for a s'more. What do you need for a s'more? Marshmallow, graham crackers, and chocolate. And a marshmallow roasting stick. We don't have a marshmallow roasting stick. I think I found four. Is there four in this family? There are four. So maybe we will roast marshmallows later this week. Yeah. Not today, sorry. No. My, my marshmallow is perfect. Mine's on fire! Ah! First, you roast your marshmallow over a campfire. Then you make a sandwich. Graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate, graham cracker, and then you eat it. S'mores are scrumptious. That is a big word. Before we know it, night is all around us. I crawl into my sleeping bag and we read with light from Aunt Jackie's lantern until she says it's time to sleep. Good night, girls. Good night. Good night, Mom. Good night, Ernestine. Two seconds later, Aunt Jackie and Samantha are snoring. But I can't sleep. I'm boiling. I need to get my socks off. Where's my water bottle? Where is Foxy? I'm freezing. Is anyone else awake? <laughs> is Dad awake? What do you think is really wrong with her? She misses her dad. Yeah, sleeping in a new place is weird. Aunt Jackie, can I call my dad? Aunt Jackie lets me use her phone, but there is no reception. I want to go home. Let's go look at the stars. It's really dark. Don't be scared, Ernestine. And there they are. Look at that. It's beautiful. Can you see that kind of stuff in the city? No. No, why not? There are too many what? Lights. Too many lights, yes. Look at Shooting Star. Wow. Make a wish, girls. Oh, I think I'm ready to go to sleep now, on Jackie. When I wake up in the morning, the tent is warm and bright. Aunt Jackie and Samantha are already eating breakfast. These are the best pancakes ever. Want to swim? Last chance. Um, okay. We can hold hands and jump in together. That should scare away the fish. One, two, three, jump! We swim and swim and swim. The fish don't bite me once. Fish don't bite. Packing up is even harder than unpacking. When we finally get our stuff in the car, it takes all three of us to close the back. Look at that. Packing up. I don't like packing up. Goodbye, Cedar Tree Campground. I can't wait to come back next year. Me too. It's a long drive back home. We eat the rest of the trail mix. We stare out the window. We sleep. We stare out the window some more. Ah! Hi, Dad. Bye, Samantha. Thank you, Aunt Jackie. I had the best time. Maybe we can have a sleepover next weekend. I think Dad missed me. Hmm. Dad, have you ever tried s'mores? <laughs> the end. The I end. like to go camping with um my boom cousins. Da -da, boom -da -da, boom -da -da, I boom -da like to go camping. I love the mountains. Mm. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the 
daffodils. I love the fireside when all the lights are low. Boom de da boom de da boom de da boom de a. That would be fun to go camping. All right, are you ready for one final song story? It looks like we're in the meadow because that looks like a window. What a I'm, perfect. That looks like a window. What a perfect segue. Let's go to the meadow. So we've been to the jungle, we've been to the woods. Now let's go to the meadow. I hope you're tracking this. Our theme is nature and outdoors. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are we ready? Okay, let's see if I can get all the way through this. I'm going to scooch over. Maybe you guys can see the book too. All right, and I'll, I'll post all of this in the notes when this is done. So this is Over in the Meadow by Jill McDonald, sung it's by Susan Reed. Show. And I, let me tell you, I love um, Barefoot Books and all of their sing-along books and things like that. And you can find them, on most of them, on YouTube. But if you want the books, you go to barefootbooks.com. And I actually found this at the library, so I was happy to find that. All right, are you ready to be my page turner? Yes.
such a fun one. It's such a sweet one. So again, that's over in the meadow, barefoot books. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed our nature Where's themes. Where's the name barefoot books? Barefoot books. Where do we find um, who? Let's see. Who wrote the book? And then who published the book? Like that's who pushed, put it together and sent it to all the people. Barefoot. Books. There it oh. is. And there it is at the back. Barefoot books. All right. Can we say goodbye? It says barefoot Except. books because they're Thank not God. wearing. Bye bye song. I hope you had fun. So again, we read One Day in the Eucalyptus Eucalyptus Tree. We read The Camping Trip by Jennifer K. Mann. And we read Over in the Meadow, published by Barefoot Books. I'll put all of that into uh, the comment section um, when the video is over. But if for more diverse book recommendations, you can always follow me on um, Instagram at It's the Drama Mama because It's the Theater Mama was taken, but whatever. So It's the Drama Mama. You can find more diverse book recommendations um, and you can check my highlights for uh, mermaids and nature Mermaid! and what else have we done? Art, um, social justice, any of those books. All right. So thanks for watching. See you later.